Hello there guys, we're going to be talking about solo travel in this video, things I wish I knew, mistakes I've made, what I won't be doing next time. One of you requested this video, thank you for all the comments. There's lots of information in the comments, people giving their opinions, so please keep that going because I'm learning as well. The first thing I would say is don't travel with loads of stuff. If you're coming to a rich country like Switzerland, where we are now, or Europe, there's seasons, so just be aware of that. You don't want to be buying a winter jacket in Switzerland because it's going to be expensive. But if you're going to Southeast Asia, you can buy a raincoat there, you can buy t-shirts there, you can buy trousers, it's really cheap. So don't bring all of that with you from Europe or the US if you're going there. But if you're coming from Asia to Europe, then be a bit more organized. But you don't need to bring loads of stuff. So travel light would be tip number one. Money. Always bring more money than what you need is the number one thing that I think of. If you think you need a thousand US dollars, bring 2000. In New York, my card got blocked. So now I always have two cards, one on your phone, the digital, a physical, you can bring a Revolut card as well an emergency 500 US dollars hidden that you don't touch until you come home. I say US dollars because a lot of countries will exchange the US dollar. They might even take it as a visa payment like in Indonesia or Cambodia. Don't go around with pounds, euros, francs. You can, but there's always that risk. There'll always be someone that will take a dollar. So bring more money emergency US dollars, more than one card. Do not end up like me in New York. In case your bag gets stolen, your wallet, your passport, you need the emergency plan. That's what I like to call this. I email a photocopy of my passport, my bank card, and my closest friends and family contact information. So I always have that back up there. I can always find a computer, go into my email, and get that information. So the emergency backup plan. Can you see these bees flying around me here? Leads into the next point. Always expect the unexpected. Travel insurance. So many people I met didn't have it when I was traveling. One guy fell off his motorbike. His foot was awful. And, and I said, you really should get that checked. He just didn't do it because he didn't have any health insurance. And the problem is most probably getting worse and worse and worse. The one I used was Digital Nomads. The link will be below and I'll put the price information there. It was 450 US dollars for three months. I remember that much. And that was the whole of Southeast Asia. Definitely, definitely have travel insurance. I just had a Swiss lady ask me why I'm kneeling under this tree. And I explained, I'm gonna tell you this next point. Read reviews before you book all of the reviews and compare on different sites. If you're going to a country you don't know at all, you might arrive and there could be a construction site there. I did see that a lot. I'm not gonna name and shame places. Just make sure you don't book a whole week in one place, especially if you're going for a three month trip because you can, you've got the freedom to move around. I stayed in places, the reviews were good, the bed was full of bed bugs, it was uncomfortable, there was noise, but I'd already booked a week. I'll give you the honest truth, one time it was so bad, I just left. So I lost a week's worth of money. Don't make those mistakes. Book a night, two nights, get a feel for the place and then extend your stay, that's what I would say. Learn a little bit of the language to where you're going, even if it's just three words, hello, thank you, goodbye. I just went to buy this baguette. The lady was much nicer because I asked for it in French. Also learn a little bit about the culture before you arrive. So we're in Switzerland, people are quite reserved. They didn't want me to film in there. So I asked first, so just be aware of where you're gonna be and people will accept you and you'll actually make more friends from that culture. To end this video, I would say, go with the flow, get lost, make mistakes, the only way to learn, you'll discover new things along the way and completely let go of your own culture. A lot of people go on holiday and they don't really change their mindset. You need to just 
if you're going to be in a country where there's a massive population, people whizzing around, if you're used to living in a quiet little village in England, it's going to be a huge culture shock. Well, you've just got to jump straight in and embrace it because otherwise you're going to become frustrated. And I've seen that so many times as I was traveling. So embrace it, enjoy yourselves. Don't be so rigid with a plan. My first trip to Thailand or Southeast Asia was supposed to be Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam. I met some people in Bangkok. They were saying, I think you'd like Penang Island. And I was like, where's that? And they said, Malaysia. So I ended up going Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia. I had no idea I was ever going to go to Indonesia. And it was great. So be open minded, go with the flow, embrace the new cultures and we're on holiday to have a good time. If you've got your budget, stick within your budget, but don't be tight either. If you've got that amount of money and you know you're going to be able to get through, then enjoy yourself. You only live once and go for it. That's all I can say. So I'll see you in the next video. We will be outside exploring, doing other things, not just me giving you these tips, but you've requested these videos. I wanted to do what you asked me in the comments. Thank you so much, by the way, everyone who subbed. We're at 3000 during this video. I don't know where we'll go from here. I do know we are going to be doing Geneva, Lausanne, Zurich, Zug, Stad, some beautiful little places in France. If you let me know below, would you be curious in seeing bigger cities, villages, mountain hiking, and we can see what we can do whilst we're in Europe still. But thank you so much, guys. See you in the next video.